Hello. Now there's no shortage of good things to eat throughout the summer and autumn, but what about those quieter times of year? Planning to have something to eat every day of the year may seem like a bold ambition, but it's a perfectly realistic one. And in this video, we'll show you how. Mid to late autumn brings the first frost for many of us, when growth slows and the season officially draws to a close. But many crops will carry on a while longer if they're given a little protection. Use row covers, tunnels and cold frames to offer that all-important additional warmth and shelter. Summer salads and tender plants such as cucumbers, peppers and tomatoes will continue to ripen so long as they're protected from frost, enabling late starters to play catch up and yield a tasty harvest. Sheltered, sun-facing walls also have the effect of creating a warm microclimate that can extend these summer favourites well into autumn. When the warm weather crops are done, it's the turn of hardy, cool season staples that were sown in summer. You may be surprised at what will grow throughout the winter. Salads such as mizuna, tatsoi, endive, winter lettuce and mustards, leafy greens including chard, spinach and the ever-ready kale, plus all manner of overwintered carrots, parsnip, beets and leeks. Even colder climates can produce a cornucopia of pickings given the protection of a cold frame or greenhouse. Give plants plenty of space so that air can circulate and precious sunlight can reach every plant. Harvest salad crops and greens little and often, taking just a few leaves from each plant at a time so they have the energy to replace them. The springtime hungry gap, when the previous season's crops are finished but the current seasons aren't yet ready, can mean scant harvests. But careful planning can ensure there's plenty to enjoy during this traditionally lean time. Sow vegetables such as broccoli, cabbage and late season leeks in late summer to stand over winter and join the last of the winter store produce such as squashes to keep the kitchen supplied. Spring is also the time to enjoy many perennial crops including asparagus, rhubarb and intriguing rarities such as sea kale which will set into growth far quicker than crops that have to be sown. While many salads are quick off the mark from a spring sowing, more substantial vegetables such as onions, cabbage, chard and tender vegetables take a little longer to establish. You can enjoy an early start and an earlier harvest by sowing early under cover. The protection of a cold frame, tunnel, greenhouse or sunny windowsill is key. Many seedlings can be started off indoors under grow lights to move to a sheltered position outside within a month or two. Onions, chard and peas may be sown into modules from late winter to transplant into beds from early spring. Others can be given a head start by pre-warming the soil with row covers, low tunnels or cloches. Sowings can be made directly into this pre-warmed soil two to three weeks sooner than in unprotected ground. Then from early spring it's the turn of tender crops such as tomatoes and eggplant or aubergine. Keep on sowing quick maturing varieties little and often throughout the spring and summer to ensure a steady succession of harvests. Choose a mixture of varieties, covering early, mid and late season harvesting to maximise how long you can enjoy each vegetable. This way you could be enjoying carrots from mid spring to late winter or strawberries from early summer right through to autumn. When the first crops of the growing season are done, don't hang about, sow or plant a succession crop. Planted from midsummer onwards, succession crops include many autumn and winter maturing vegetables, including those suitable for storage such as main crop carrots and celeriac, plus quick growing favourites like bulb fennel and dwarf beans which will be ready before the first frosts in many areas. It's a good idea to have a dedicated nursery area in a greenhouse or cold frame, or even just a few pots kept in a sunny sheltered spot so you can raise crops from seed and have them ready to plant the moment a gap appears in the garden, so you don't waste any of the growing season. Any year-round productive garden needs careful planning. Our garden planner has a number of powerful features to help you really maximise your space and your time. With your plan laid out, double click on each crop to set the dates it's in the ground. Then view your plan in a specific month. Let's choose July. You can now see gaps where earlier crops have been harvested. So let's go to the custom filter button, where you can select crops suitable for sowing or planting out in July. The plant selection bar is now filtered accordingly and it's simply a matter of dropping in the crops you'd like to grow to follow on from those that have finished. 
Another handy feature is the accompanying plant list, which takes into account how crop protection such as a row cover can affect sowing and harvesting times, ideal for planning those late and early season vegetables. Let's pop a row cover over these strawberries as an example. Now head to the plant list and we can see that we have extended the time we can harvest by a whole month and a half. Planning is what matters and a little time spent working out what you can grow when will yield something to enjoy at any time of year. Of course, every climate throws up its own challenges, so please let us know in the comments section below how you manage to keep growing during the difficult times of year, whether that's the searing heat of summer or the plunging cold of winter. I hope you've gleaned a few ideas from this video and if you'd like more gardening tips, please be sure to subscribe. I'll catch you next time.